Mike Napoleon here with Super Speed Golf. We're doing live testing today of the PRGR launch monitor compared to the TrackMan Golf launch monitor. Okay, that's all five of our shots. Now we're gonna take a look and see how this data compares on each shot and our averages. I'm excited to share with you the results of our test between the PRGR launch monitor and the TrackMan launch monitor system. We hit these shots outside simultaneously measuring data on both systems. And what we came up with was some really cool results showing how accurate both of these systems are. So here's a chart about club speed. I mean, that's our favorite metric here at Super Speed. And all of the shots that we hit were within a mile an hour of the same on both of these systems. That's incredibly accurate when you start to look at data that you measure across different platforms. The next metric that we looked at during our testing with the PRGR launch monitor and the TrackMan launch monitor system is ball speed. Now, I know you hear us talk about club speed a lot, but if we really want to get in the nitty gritty, I mean, ball speed's where it's at for how far that ball's actually going to fly when you hit it off the first tee. So we think ball speed's very important. Now, looking at these, ball speed was even more, even closer together in the data than club speed. So seeing how accurate both of these systems are in measuring how far that ball is flying is just an incredible metric to be able to have at your disposal. We also took a look at how these two devices measure smash factor. Smash factor being that measure of efficiency of how much energy you can transfer between the club head and the ball. So essentially, how do you get ball speed out of the club speed that you're making? We found that Smash Factor was incredibly similar on both of these devices. I mean, we know TrackMan is the industry standard for accuracy when talking about launch monitor technology. And for the PRGR to be able to step, you know, stand right in there, um, you know, toe to toe with this big boy TrackMan is really amazing to see how accurate this data is coming from the PRGR. The last metric that we looked at in our PRGR TrackMan comparison was carry distance. Now, this is probably the hardest metric for these type of devices to actually measure because this is going to involve some calculation on the PRGR side. TrackMan has a little bit more technology there to track the ball further out into the driving range. So we would expect you know, a little more accuracy with the TrackMan system than PRGR. And we did see that there was a little bit more variance here when we're talking about uh, you know, the actual numbers that we got. Still though, very, very similar data between the PRGR and the TrackMan. You can see that on most of the shots, those numbers were within a very small percentage difference. The only one, we had one shot in there that had a little bit more variance. But overall, very accurate on the PRGR here to measure how far that ball's flying. Here's our overall summary of our data collection comparing the PRGR launch monitor and the TrackMan launch monitor system. Now, this was a fun test for us because we use that PRGR here at Super Speed for a lot of different reasons. We use it, number one, uh, to measure how fast these clubs are moving without hitting a ball. And that's something that even TrackMan can't do. However, when we look at the data when we're actually hitting a golf ball, we saw that they are incredibly similar. They're incredibly accurate and incredibly similar. Club speed had a variance of only 0.4%. Ball speed was even better with a variance of 0.03%. I mean, that's amazing. Smash factor, 0.14%. And carry distance, as we said before, did have the biggest variance, but still only at 2.5% variance between these two devices. Pick up a PRGR today, take it home, start analyzing these metrics, and take your game to the next level.